there are six stages in uh, the project. In the first stage, all schools send in a picture and a smart text about their school. So other countries can see uh, which schools are uh, presented in uh, the uh, competition. Uh, later, the schools are um, asked to create a human chain reaction or another video in which they present themselves. All pupils can uh, look at the blog and they can uh, write a message to other schools uh, giving them uh, of wishing them good luck or giving them advice or some uh, other things. Uh, later on they uh, start creating the U of the technical chain reaction in their schools. So the children uh, create the technical chain reaction, the teachers help sometimes and uh, they will film it or the teacher films it and it will be uploaded to the blog. When all the videos are on the blog, the other schools can look at uh, each other's entries and add points to them. So they are the judges in this uh, uh, competition. Um, they will uh, all send the uh, points to uh, me as I'm the organizer of the uh, project. And I will count up all the points. And then there's an extra task for uh, our school as we are the organizing school uh, because we have to uh, make a, a news flash. Uh, which goes online at a an, at an, uh, time all participants know. So uh, all participants know at the exact same time uh, when, uh, who is the winner in the competition. Uh, the winner in the competition is the, one, the school that gets the most points. But it's not only a competition, it's also a collaboration. Because all the short uh, chain reactions from all the different countries are put the one after another to create a large a uh, human chain of a technical chain reaction, a European chain reaction, and uh, that's the main goal of a project. Stop swimming! The new flash for the European chain reaction is going to begin. Hi to all you viewers. We want to welcome you all in a European chain reaction news flash. In this newsletter we have two items. We will give you the results of this competition and we can show you the European chain reaction. But before we do that, we first want to congratulate everyone for the fine work they have done. You are all winners because you did your very best. There doesn't have to be um, bought a lot of equipment for this. You only need a computer so you can make up the blog and you need a uh, uh, a camera, a small camera, you can even do it with a, a video of a camera for photos uh, which, can, which has a recording function. So you just have to record a video up and upload it to the blog. Um, no more equipment is needed, all can be do done for free. Uh, we didn't uh, really had a lot of uh, help from uh, other uh, people. I uh, had some advice from uh, uh, Michael Peirce, the organizer of uh, School of Vision. And sometimes I uh, could uh, send a mail to the NSS, uh, that is the National Support Service of eTwinning. So they helped me out uh, searching for more partners and uh, uh, giving me advice on how to uh, uh, look for partners on the eTwinning uh, forum. When we uh, make our technical chain reaction, I divide the class in um, all groups of three persons. And these three persons will have to make a technical chain reaction which lasts five seconds. That, sounds, that doesn't sound long, but it's, it's really uh, long, five seconds, when we, you have to uh, make some things move. Um, so, and later on, all those little, very little chain reactions are combined into one bigger one. Then the other class comes uh, together with our class and we make a uh, we try to make a technical chain reaction in about one minute, which is quite difficult. I help them uh, filming and I help them putting it on the blog and I help them when they want to leave a comment for other uh, uh, children or other schools, but they have to do it for themselves. Learn about a lot about science, 
they learn about wheels, um, they learn about pullovers, uh, they learn about uh, movements that are made. So and, and it's really uh, up to them to create it. So they have to uh, use science in an artistic way. So they have to think about what will happen if we do it like that. Uh, they have to do it in phases. In the first phase, they have to think about and you have to they have to draw a, a, a picture of what they think will um, work and what will not work. They have to um, communicate with each other on thinking what uh, can we do and what is um, what can be done and isn't possible. And later on they will uh, try it and when it doesn't uh, work they ha will have to um, coordinate it so they will have to um, make things better. We have School of Vision, we have the European Chain Reaction and there's another competition uh, which we are in and that's a sort of uh, photo uh, competition. Uh, we have uh, 30 countries uh, in a photo, international photo wet, uh, game, uh, photo competition which is online. So every uh, country makes four countries, uh, four pictures, one in the na nature uh, category, one in the human category, sports and places. So that's the four categories. And last year we had uh, one um, a child at our school that made a, a, a picture of a baby and it uh, came in in the second or the third place. I, I believe it was the second place in the human uh, category. So that's nice for them too. So they learn how to make good uh, pictures. <laughs> I will see how this project uh, evolves. Uh, last year there were 13 competitors, now we already have 21. So that's fun uh, for, our, for us as the organizers to see how uh, the project evolves, how there are more uh, competitors, so how uh, it can grow. Um, when the children keep having fun, I think we can uh, repeat the project. So this is the second edition, but maybe they can come at uh, a fourth or maybe a tenth edition, we will see. Uh, it's all about the children when they will have fun and when they learn a lot because that's a goal too. Of course, we are educators, so we want them to learn and then we can repeat it. And hopefully it can grow too. We have uh, until we have uh, one participant from each uh, European country. So that's what we hope for. Always welcome to join in.